وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد In this third contradiction I want to speak about giving importance to the children's worldly affairs and forsaking their uh, matters of the hereafter we don't give any importance to their religion, their deen, their tarbiyatun diniya, saliha, how they are in terms of their religion. We're not concerned about, are they nurtured in a way that is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? No. We only are concerned with their physical side. Are they being fed? Are they being given food? Uh, how do they look? Are they eating well? Um, is there any illness that they have? Okay, subhanAllah, your teeth has grown from the wrong place. I might have to get braces for you, uh, uh, etc. We're concerned with making sure this child, he looks good, he looks healthy. And definitely that is not a blameworthy thing. That's what a parent is there for. That's what parents do. And that's what parents should do. Take care of the child's appearance, his health, and the way that he is. No doubt. And the parent gets sad if the child uh, doesn't uh, sleep. The, child, the parent becomes sad if the child says, I'm sick. He worries you. You get very worried and concerned. With that being said, contradiction is that none of the matters of the hereafter is there. The child's يعني, not praying, you don't care. Your child is with bad company, is with people who are bad, you don't care. Your child's listening to music, you don't care. Your child's reading things that are inappropriate, he's watching inappropriate things, you don't care. And rather when the parent is advised at that moment and one pers a person comes up to that parent and says, listen, your child's not heading in the right direction. He's three or four years old and he's dancing. Is that not worrying to you? He's listening to music. Your child, uh, you advise the parent, he will say to you, Al-Hidayah to be Adillah. Guidance is in Allah's hands. Allah guides whoever he wishes. But isn't health not also in the hands of Allah? Is Allah not the one who gives health? Is Allah not the one who can cultivate and nurture your son? In a healthy way, why do you take him to the doctor? Why do you take the precautions of protecting from your child poisonous food, uh, making sure he sleeps his 8, 12, 13, 15, 16 hours a day? Why do you do all of that? But when it comes to the deed, it is Al-Hidayah to be a deed. Guidance is in Allah's hands. Uh, Allah guides who He wishes. Nuh alayhi salam, his son was not, you know, upon, you know, the path of his father Nuh. You know, Allah guides whoever wishes. You don't say that when it comes to the deed. And that's a contradiction, a clear-cut contradiction. And this contradiction comes from only focusing on the dunya. And the hereafter is not in your heart. You don't realize that there's this world and there's also another world. And the world that really matters is the hereafter. That's the place that really matters, not this particular world that we're living in right now. I'm going to stop there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect, it's from me and Shaytan and Allah and His Messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi ashadu wa la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayhi.